Feral Futures was written with a colleague here, uh, um, Jerry uh, Ravetz, and this uh, became quite a, a, a noisy uh, uh, paper in the insurance and risk business. Uh, the article was called Very Strange Things, Feral Futures, Zen and Aesthetics, and I'll come back to why. Uh, we distinguish between three types of futures. The first one is tame futures, which we know very well, which is the kind of future where we're sitting in the present, we're looking at the future, and we think we can forecast our way through it. So crossing a street in New York, uh, you know how fast cars go across, you know how fast you can dash across the street, and if you make it to the other side of the street, you've tamed the future because yesterday's experience behind the wall where Thomas is sitting of my database with my uh, speeds of uh, cars in New York and my speeds of dashing across the streets, I can take that, look at the distribution of data, and then forecast my way across that. So that's tame futures. Then we looked at wild futures. Wild futures is where you can no longer rely on the possibility of a tame future because you're no longer sure that tomorrow is going to be like yesterday later. And this is where imagination and all kinds of new words arise and where scenarios have a, a, a good home, where things like hippies or civil rights movements or all kinds of new entities uh, come around. And if you start imagining those in the, in, the, in the present, you're in fact engaging in scenario planning. Or more recently, in business terms, uh, you have these kinds of companies. We imagine different things with different words uh, and different connotations. Now, the feral future situation is what happens if you mistake a wild uh, situation in which you should be doing scenario work for a tame situation and you attack it with tame uh, technologies. And so you have, for example, in, this, in the article, the creation of the Taliban by the Americans, which is actually the creation also of Al-Qaeda by the Americans, who had armed the Mujahideen in, uh, in, in um, Afghanistan to fight the Russians. We have the famous article and book by Charles Perrow on Three Mile Island, where they had a wild situation and attacked it with tame technologies and made it worse. We have the financial crisis. So what happens if you have these kinds of futures? Well, you just have to give up. You can no longer pretend that you can argue it. And so the idea of Zen and an aesthetic uh, stance towards it uh, uh, gets created.